Hi everyone, welcome back. So I'm doing a little bit of late night crafting tonight. It's about, oh, about quarter to 12. So I thought I would just turn on the camera and um, have you all come along with me and do another craft with me video. So uh, if you're not already and you want to, pull out some supplies and craft along with me. I am working in the journals for the women's shelter. Um, I was working on the little bags and I just did a little, um, kind of like a collage, not really, it's a little bit, I mean there's some lace behind it and then I got this little uh, cut out here with this other one on top. I think these were a digital that I had before, I haven't done anything with this side. Don't know if I'm going to. We'll see. And I tucked this um, journal card in here. And where's the other side? Here it is. And then on the other side here, I was just going to take this scripture card. Well, it's just a. It's just printed on copy paper or printer paper, whatever. Um, I'm not sure if I got this from Tsunami Rose. I think I did. I'm not sure though. Don't quote me. But anyway, I just thought I, oh, nope. Oh, hold the phone. I got the ink out so I could ink around it first. Just got some, uh, Tim Holtz vintage photo. And why do I have a shadow right here? Sorry, I'm trying to fix my light. I think that's a little bit better. I don't know that my camera adjusts for the lighting. And then it makes it shadowy again. All right, we'll try that. Nope, it goes right back down again. I think I've got it set to balance automatically. Anyway, sorry. I'm not going to sit here and worry about that as long as you can see what I'm doing. And he's got one of these Dollar Tree sponges. I do have the regular little um, applicator, but um, because these pages are so delicate, I thought the sponge might be a little more gentle on it than the actual tool, the distress tool. So. Okay. Oh, I had a pin in there, too. There wasn't much glue going to come out of there with a pin in it, was there? Okay. So, how are all of you doing today? I hope you've been having a good day. Today is what? What day is it? Tuesday. Tomorrow is the inauguration day. I don't know if I'll be able to watch all that as it's happening because um, it's also the day I have to take my mom to see her heart doctor. And we will find out how her heart is doing since she had her heart attack. And hopefully she will be free from her life vest and not need any further uh, procedures done. That is our prayer and hope. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do with them for right now. Okay. I think this journal has become one of my favorites. I just like all the bling in it. And of course, you know, it is purple. <laughs> okay, so I got this little bag that has some bits. The first thing I notice is this purple lace. But what am I going to put with it? I only had a few of those other cutouts left. I can't get a hold of that. Why can't I get a hold of that last one? There we go. 
those over there. I can't remember where I got these either. I had these uh, last time I did the journals. Okay, but those colors, well, they don't really go on that paper very well. Okay, just put a little flower cut out on top of there. And no, I don't want the blue. You know, it would have been a good idea is to sew these together and then glue them on the page. That would have been pretty, wouldn't it? I didn't think of that. I do kind of like the way that is. I'll light that and then I could stamp something on there. I think we'll go ahead and go with that. So let's go ahead and glue the lace down. I'm just using my art glitter glue with this. Oops. Got one mess cleaned up and made another one. <laughs> Got all the trims and stuff put away. I might need to get my fabric tag for this lace. We'll see. I did the other one with our glitter glue. Just not want to lay down though. Sometimes it'll work with lace and sometimes it's a little stubborn and needs a little more. Yesterday I was out at my mom's all day, well most of the day I had to, oh what did we do? I grabbed her some food, we got some apple beads yesterday. I like their Cajun shrimp and chicken with their garlic mashed potatoes, I love those. And then um, mom, she likes to get their riblets and then she gets the mashed potatoes too. She would prefer baked potatoes, but um, they don't have them. And then um, after we ate, we played some kids while we were eating. And uh, and I figured I better get to the store grab her a few things that she needed. I just went last weekend, but there was a few things that Walmart didn't have that she needed. So I went out and fed the cats. The one cat of Liz's that she has made a pet out of. Uh, I don't know if he's getting into fights or if he's... I don't know what's going on with him, but he, the last few times uh, he had a sore on his head. That had a big old scab on it. Well, that had come off. And then um, he had a sore on his leg. He was uh, holding his one leg up. And I looked at it and it was all scraped up on the side. So, my dad has a, a wood box out there in the barn that he made that has a pull down front to it. And in there, he's got some of the medicines he used to use when they had cattle and um, calves. And, um, you know, we had the horses. So uh, he has some peroxide out there in an old rag, uh, like a, like from thermal underwear that he'd been cutting off from to, like, make a whatever, whatever he needed it for. So I poured some peroxide on that. And... Um, Fortunately, since Liz has made a pet out of that cat, he let me pick him up. And I uh, put some of that peroxide on his head and on his leg where he had that sore. So hopefully, he'll be alright. I know Liz would be devastated if anything happened to that cat. But he is a barn cat and he is a tom cat. And actually, he wasn't even our cat. I don't 
know where he came from, some neighboring farm or something. And um, I know he goes back and forth because sometimes he'll be out there and sometimes he'll be nowhere to be found. So he gets around. And when they do that, you know, there's always a possibility anything could happen at any time. So I worry about that, but there's nothing you can really do, you know. I would never want to make him a house cat or try to, you know. Especially not unless he was sick. The other day he backed himself up to a box and sprayed. And that's exactly why you don't want male cats in your house. Because they will do that. But anyway, um, I got him all fixed up. And then I went to the store. I was on the way back from the store when I did that video for you guys. If you haven't seen it, I did a video uh, as part of my drive home from the store. Just so you guys could see how pretty the snow is on the trees. It was about, oh, it was in the lower 30s that day. Somebody made a comment that it looked cold, but we haven't actually been as cold as we normally are, you know. And I'm not complaining because I don't like that bone chilling cold for sure. Okay. But anyway, then when I got back, I, um, you know, got all the groceries in and uh, played some more kismet with my mom. And then um, I stayed for quite a while, probably longer than I would have if I had known that apparently it was, um, in that video I had showed that it was starting to spit a little bit of snow. Well, apparently it was doing more than spitting a little bit because um, when I went out to my car, I had uh, ice on the windshield. Okay, before I decide what trim I'm going to use, let's decide what, um, I like that butterfly, is it too big for here? Kind of. Plus, I'm not sure I like that color blue with that. I don't know if I like that one either, but maybe it'll be far enough away that it won't matter so much. I don't want things to be all like perfect. You know, I want it to be a little off the side. And I think what I might do is come back and put like some little bling on there. I probably should pull that out now and do it while I'm thinking about it. I do like that a piece of that on. Where did my scissors go? Oh, I always end up burying them in my stuff. So anyway, um, I did make a, I think I'm going to use my fabric tack for this one did make it home okay. I was a little worried when I went out there and saw ice on the windshield. I still had the trash to put out by the road for her. And the roads were, uh, they were covered all the way home. It's about a 20 minute drive. Even the highway um, had snow on it. And I wasn't sure how slippery it was, so I just took my time. But I made it home just fine, so all's well that ends well, right? But we had a good visit. I had to put her, she likes to take a break from her vest while I'm there, so I, I had to help her get that back on too before I left. And I'm going to put a little ink around that too. Is there two of those there? That feels awful thick. So anyway, today, I swear there's two. Oh, you know what I forgot? I printed that on the um, sticker paper. Duh. I think I forgot that when I used them the last time, too. I ended up gluing stuff down when actually it was on sticker paper. Oops. Let's see if this stuff will stick. Oopsie. 
But anyway, so since I was out there yesterday, today was my day to be home. And it's funny how the days like go by so stinking fast. Today I was working on paperwork for Justin, so I was going through a whole pile of stuff I had piled next to my chair that, you know, needed to be filed and stuff, looking for things that I needed to send in his paperwork. And um, that took quite a while today, and I didn't find everything that I needed. You need so much stuff when you're dealing with the government, you know? Um, okay, don't stick. Come on. There we go. So I'm still working on that. It was supposed to be due tomorrow, but I'm not going to be done in time. I had forgotten about it, and I had put it aside, and then I forgot where I had put it, and then I found it. <laughs> Welcome to my life. But, um... I just, I didn't get it done. So I called them to tell them, you know, to ask them for more time. And the guy that I talked to, he's like, well, we only come in the office once a week to get the mail anyway. I said, well, yeah, but I don't want him to, you know, lose his benefits and stuff if I don't get the paperwork in. It's like a re-evaluation thing they do every so often. It's like he has a, uh, autism. It doesn't go away, but, you know, I still have to do all the paperwork every so often. But anyway, um, he's like, no, just, you know, put a note in there with it when you do send it in, as long as it's not like six months. I said, no, I probably just need a couple of weeks to get everything in order and get it out. I mean, hopefully it'll be less than that, but I just wanted to buy myself a little more time just in case. He's like, yeah, it's no problem. Just include a note as to why it's late and it'll be fine. So he didn't take my name or anything. <laughs> didn't make any kind of note that I had called and that worries me a little bit. But um, hopefully it'll be all right. I really like that on there. Okay, let me get my drawer over here if I can. Get past all the stuff and pull some little bling pieces out. Mm -hmm. Oh, heck, let's just pull the drawer out. Just pull the drawer out. Set it up there. Well, let's sit up there is the problem, though. Okay, but you guys are going to be able to see what I'm doing. Well, all right, let me see. Well, you can see what I'm doing right there. If it gets to be a problem, I'll move it. Oh, it might be kind of pretty. Well, it kind of clashes. Kind of clashes just a little bit. I'm going to put... I probably shouldn't have put this on that page, but that's all right. We'll make it work. But anyway, I'm hoping, you know, everything is going to be okay when I send that in, even though it's going to be late now. I know I talked to somebody, but they're not going to know I talked to somebody. But I'll do like you said and put the note in there. But then I had to go out and get a prescription, so then I got some food. It got to be like 5 o'clock again. I still hadn't ate. I don't do that on purpose because I know it's not good to go all day without eating like that. I just get busy working on stuff, you know, and then I, um, I don't realize what time it is, you know, it just gets away from me. I put a little bow on there. Maybe the brown color. I kind of want something a little bit blingy, you know. Problem is, I got too much stuff in this drawer, and it's hard to look. And you guys can't even see what I'm doing. Here, I'm gonna pull it down a little bit so you can see what I'm digging through here. I'm just trying to find 
what I'm looking for. But it's gold though, and those are silver. Put some little gems on there. Keep that out as a possibility. have options right oh those are pretty okay let's let's stop there otherwise we're going to have so many options it's going to be harder to make a decision oops i kind of like Just grab the tweezers. Okay, I know you're right there. I just put you back in. Two tweezers. And I don't want those ones. You guys ever find when you go to grab something three or four other things fall? Gosh, what a pain. Alright, let me bring my bucket over here so I can see what the heck I'm doing. So then when I got done eating, I um then I started my phone calls. Justin had called me. Talked to him. Why does that have tape on it? Um I don't know why those have tape on them. I don't know if I got those from somebody and they have, I don't know. I'm not going to try and analyze it. Just get some off of here. But anyway, um, I don't think these are the tweezers I want either. In talk, ah, bugger. I thought those were one piece. They are one piece. It's just not coming off that way. There we go. Um, in talking to Justin, he was telling me that, um, he was laying on his bed watching something and all of a sudden he got like chills and, um, give me my scissors. He got chills and bot like his muscles and stuff were hurting. And his fingers hurt so bad that he couldn't hardly move them. And I'm like, well, what were you doing? And he said he was just laying there. I never heard of such a thing like that. I think that looks cute. So I have no idea why that happened. It was just all of a sudden. So he went and got in the shower, which, you know, you really don't want to go take a shower if you got something wonky going on. But um, he went ahead and he got in the shower. And he said when he got in the shower, he felt better. And he was fine. So that is the weirdest thing I have ever heard. Any of you ever heard of anything like that? I did. And he said that his palms looked a little bit blue in here. Now, I, of course, I go to the internet and I try to like read up on some things to try to figure out you know what maybe it could have been or to see if anything stuck out well not being there not knowing everything and sometimes he has a hard time explaining things exactly how um like like his explanation might not be exactly what was happening so i don't know for sure but, um, that's a little concerning. And I don't know, um, 
I don't know what that was about. So, um, I told him he was going to go to bed. And this was like at 830. And I'm like, okay, well, um, if you wake up, you know, sometime, you know, within a decent hour, like I didn't want him waking me up at three or four in the morning, although sometimes I am up, but not when I got to take my mom to the doctor the next day. But anyway, I told him, you know, call me and let me know how you're feeling. So he said he would, but I haven't heard from him since then. And I don't want to call him and wake him up, you know. But I had to pray over him tonight. He did watch something that really scared him. So I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird thing. It's never happened before. He does have a thyroid issue. Um, and I don't know if it could have been something to do with that. I don't know if it could have been something he ate. He said he just had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So, I don't know, you guys. It's just freaking me out a little bit. I hate that when, you know, he's far away. Well, he's not far away. He's, um... Did I even put those cards away? Are those ones? Yeah. He's only around the corner from me, so like 10 minutes because of traffic, you know. But, um, I can't believe I put those away. But still, it's just, um, it's just a little concerning to hear him, you know, describe that and not really know what's going on or why that happened definitely if it happens again we'll have to be getting him to the doctor and find out what the heck is going on I'm gonna put that brown one there yeah put that one in there so that was kind of a weird thing that happened tonight Then I called and talked to my mom for a little bit, too. So, I don't know. Hopefully, he'll be all right. Okay. Did I get everything? Okay, I think so. I can take that paper out of there now. It should be dry. I have to figure out where I'm going to put these little tuck spots, too. I have some uh, playing cards that I want to alter a little bit. I'll probably put in those. But anyway, yeah, my son freaked me out a little bit. I think it freaked him out, too. I just don't understand why that would come over him like that. And then, you know, just suddenly disappear and be fine. This is weird. Okay. What are we going to put on? It's really small though. Yeah. I might have to pull out my ephemera books and see. Let's see, now I gotta remember what I put in which ones. And I had that heater on because I was cold, but now I'm getting a little a little hot. I'm on low. <laughs> I had Liz I had Liz run out and get um some water because it was in the car nobody had brought it in and um some kind of cute little things that might anyway she's a little scared to go outside at night so um 
those are just cutouts, okay. So, um, I was sitting here doing something here at my craft table. I wasn't crafting, I don't know what I was doing. But anyway, I told her, just leave the door open, because from where I sit, I can see the back door. Our place is not that big. And um, I told her, just leave the door open, and I can see you cut out, and I can hear you, and, and all of that. So, she did. Well, this heater has like a temperature thing on it, and it went from like 69 degrees to 52 or 3. <laughs> That's how cold it got in here that quick um, from her having that door open. These little flower pieces might be cute. We'll keep that as a thought. Oh, yeah. So we've got some butterflies. Let's pull some of these little flowers out. Keep that nearby. See, I'm getting a little pile here, and I've got this itty bitty space to work in. <laughs> All right, let's see. We need something with like lavender in it or something. Mm. Will that one work? That might be pretty on there. Ah! Don't drop. I don't even know where I got these from. Let's see. What else do Whoops. That one's a little bit bigger. Oh. Or is it? No, actually that's the same dang size. <laughs> it looked bigger to me. Right, let's stick those back in there. Just want to make sure I don't have any bigger ones I want to use. I had some smaller butterflies. Anyway, all right. Unfortunately, her appointment isn't until um, afternoon, so even if I do stay up for a little bit crafting, I'll still be able to sleep a little bit. Well, that is unless somebody calls me. All right, well, let's start with this. I feel like I want something else on there. I don't know. I feel like I want something with it. might I want I feel like that kind of blends in a little bit that lace maybe I want maybe I want something else let's see what we got in here mm -hmm. of this lace and that I got. Maybe I do. Let's cut some of this up. Oh, 
the wax paper just went sliding off. Go put that like that, and then maybe cut, put a little couple bling pieces right there. So let's go ahead and glue this down. I just like the different pieces on here to give it a little more interest. I think I put this on upside down, but that's okay too. I'm just give it a little more texture, right? Okay. I got a couple glue boogers on there. Now my glue's not coming out. the blingy box. What shall we put? Nope. Not that one. Okay, we've got these little purples. Of course, you know I'm leaning towards those right away, but then we also got these little pearls that might be kind of pretty too. So we got Purple for the pearls. Honestly, with this antique lace, I kind of like the pearls, believe it or not. Believe it or not. I'm just going to set these on there. I'm actually going to add some glue just to make sure they get stuck down good. It's funny how they always stick to your fingers good, right? Come on, glue. Get your bubble thing going. I don't know. I'm not sure that these bottles are quite standing up to the hype that they get for being so good. I think it's just the nature of this glue to give us trouble. You know? It doesn't seem to matter what you put it in. It still gets globby and it still gets air in it and still acts the fool <laughs> it couldn't possibly just be me now could it I think no couldn't be couldn't be not me I think I need this glue down just a glue. No, I think the lace is what I need down, not the glue. I need to glue it down. I can talk. Honest, I can. Might not think so watching my videos. There. There's that one done. Just a little decoration on the bag. Okay, now. We will use the purple on this one. Where did my things go? Yes, things, they're getting buried. I 
This is a good scripture for these times. Isaiah 41.10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. We don't have to worry. God's got us. There is nothing happening in this world that he didn't already know was going to happen and made a plan for. It's going to be okay. I'm just over here putting glue on the paper back where I can see what I'm doing. Sometimes if I try to put stuff where you guys can see it, then I can't see it. And I can see I'm not getting any glue on there. <laughs> It's not coming out. Probably because I'm not putting the pin in, in between uses. We'll just use our little unclodding tool here. Let's see if that helps the situation out at all. Yup. Sure does. It's amazing what a little unclogging will do. Oops, I got glue on the other side, too. Just a little encouragement here for the ladies. I don't try to get too, um, I don't want these journals to be, like, preachy at them. I just want them to be comforting and, um, inspiring. So I like to balance between encouragement and, um, scripture because I know for me if it wasn't for God I wouldn't be here quite literally so it would be nice if the ladies knew he was there for them too okay um Oh, hello. I was going to put some bling bling on there, wasn't I? Maybe I'll just put like a little row of it right on the scripture card. Are these things are stuck together? Yep. Sometimes they're individual, and sometimes they have the little string on them. Let's see, how many do I want? About that many. About that many. I think these will stick on this paper all right. Of course, they always stick to my hand quite well. There we go. See, we still got the purple bling in there anyway, didn't we? That's how we did that one. Just simple. Not everything has to be, you know, decorated to the max in my world. I want to leave um, something for the ladies, too, if they, you know, maybe they want to add some of their own decorating to it, you know? So I want to leave that possibility open for them. What is that? I like that. I'm not sure. I'm going to leave it be though. Okay. Is there anything else? That's it. Okay. That one done. Well, we got four down. Where are we at with time? 44 minutes. I've been trying to keep these videos at about an hour. Some people like the long ones. And, um, you know, sometimes I'll go a little bit longer, but uh, it just seems like an hour is a good chunk of time, you know, with it being okay in length, but not too, too long. I mean, of course, people can always stop whenever they want or fast forward or do whatever, but... Okay, now this one is pink and red. What do we have here? Oh, look at this pink and silver scrap. Let's put that on there. 
with what? What shall we put with it? I could put some little Tim Holtz people in here. <laughs> I'd freak the ladies out and be like, what's with the creepy people? I don't get it. I don't get it. Why? Why is she doing this? Okay, that is a possibility. Let's see what else do we have? Nope, I don't like that one. Ooh, that's kind of pretty to see how that one looks. No, not sure. Not sure I do like that one now that I get it out here. Nope. Man, why is my back hurting? I hate that when that happens. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Come here, you. Don't be so stubborn. Come here. Come here. That one might be kind of big. It's like, which way does that bugger go anyway? <laughs> like, I don't know. A lot of fiddly fiddling, huh? You guys know how much I like to be fiddly with things. And I don't like to fiddle. Oh, I don't like that one. It's just not working. I don't like that one either. Watch me go back to the one I had in the first place. <laughs> That's the way I roll. Try 20 different ones and then go back to where I was. That's me. Okay. I just wanted to make sure, you know. I wanted to make sure that was the one, right? It's my story and I'm sticking to it. Oops. Yeah, now let's glue it down <laughs> the other way just for fun yeah not so much not so much what i was intending okay and here i go with the fabric tack on here instead of the art glitter glue that's all right matters not People only knew who get these journals how much we fiddle with them. <laughs> what goes into the decision making. Sometimes it is quite the process, right? I think I'm going to put some more of these little white ones on here. Kind of like them. Whoopsie. Stay in the spot I put you in now giving me a hard time. I may decide I don't like you after all. Ah, quit sliding around. There. That's that one. Okay. 
Okay. All right, I'll let them dry for a minute. Just put that in there. Hopefully they'll stay in place. Okay. And card. Okay, who took the sponge? There it is. Okay, you better work. I put the pin back in you. I did my job. Now you do yours. Right? Right. I think when I get done with these journals, I might go right to spring journals. The bunnies are calling me, you guys. I've been waiting and waiting to do bunny journals. And you know what I'm thinking I might do because I have a lot of bunny stuff? Now, don't hold me to it because you guys know the way my life is. I can't promise anything. But I'm thinking, wouldn't it be fun to take some of the extra stuff and put together some bunny kits for you guys to purchase? What do you think? I think that'd be a good idea. And then you guys could do bunny journals too. If you wanted to. Ah, all right now. All right now. Knock it off. Behave yourself. The only one that gets to cut up here is me. You guys could kind of let me know in the comments if there would be any interest in that. That would help me out because there's no point in putting something together if no one's interested, right? Okay. Did that move or did I really put that on there that bad? I'm going to look in the camera. I guess it doesn't have to line up perfectly. That's just my problem. <laughs> that is just my problem, people. Okay. I guess I should have checked that before I just pulled it out of there. Yeah, I think we're, I really like the way that one came out. The more I look at it. You ever do that? The more you look at something, the more you like it. And you think, okay, yeah, okay. I do like that. I think it'll be all right. Okay. And that one's, I really like that trim. I wish you guys could feel it. Whoops, it's not that page. It's this page. It's so soft and fuzzy. Soft and fuzzy. That's a bunny. Yes, I have bunnies on my brain. I have a friend on Facebook who has uh, pet bunnies, and she had pictures of her bunnies on Facebook today. That's another reason why I got bunnies on my brain. Okay, it's 54 minutes. We're going to go ahead and do one more before I turn off the camera. I may or may not call it a night. I don't know. It's quarter to one. I might have to stop and go to bed. I really hate to stop, though, until I get them all done, you know? Got some more Amy paper last night. I make no apologies. Buy that girl out if I can. I love her paper. Okay, so we've got the pink again. 
so, but I only had that one piece. So we'll have to find something else to put on the bottom. We could go with this again. That'd be pretty with that um, paper there behind it. So let's cut another piece of this. that on there maybe that is the way you know I did I think I did put that on there right it's just got the raised texture on there let's put it, put it on there like that now what do we want to put on top go through this process again trying to pick a flower I like can stay right there. Maybe it'll be easier if it's just on a flat piece of lace. I don't want to cover the lace up completely though. Ooh, that might be pretty, just that single rose on there. I think I like it. Oh, I think I like it. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. You can tell when I'm crafting at night and it's getting late because I get loopy. <laughs> and this is me all the time. You totally get the real me in my videos because I can't be anybody else. <laughs> so when I start to get loopy, yep, that's what you get. Loopy Dorinda. Probably should just apologize ahead of time. Did I just put that down wrong? Yup. Yup, I sure did. Okay. Okie dokie. Artichokey. Put that on like that. Oh. You know what I should have been doing? I should have been inking around these. Come you guys didn't tell me supposed to tell me, Dorinda, don't forget to ink. Don't forget to ink. Because we ink everything. Don't want all that stark whiteness on there. Especially with all the antique look behind it. Come on. What are you thinking? I wasn't thinking. And you guys weren't here to think for me, so it was just out of luck. It only took me, what, to the third one to Think about it. Okay. Okie dokie. What do we want to put on more? I want the more antique look on this one. I think I'm going to grab. Let's move this out of the way for a minute. I saw some flat backs that were um, more the antique look. Now it's just a matter of can I find them in the box? Where did they go? Okay, you need to get out of my way. Here, let's put these back in their package before they all come off there and get ruined. I am notorious for that. You guys don't know that yet. Well, you do now, but you didn't know that. And I have a tendency to leave my stuff out of their packages. Like, hmm, I wonder what went in there. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> I probably just yelled in the camera microphone. Sorry. Never did use those little gems I got out, did I? Alright, where'd you go? I know you're in here. I saw you earlier. Come out, come out wherever you are. I know you're in here. I saw you. Oh, look at these. 
I got these from down a little. Blingy, blingy. Isn't that pretty? Ugh, I love those. Ooh, and I got two of them. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted with my stuff. I haven't looked in the store in a little while. Oh, for heaven's sake. They're probably right in front of me and I can't see them. They were like a tan colored flat bag. Ah! There they are. Right there. That's what I'm looking for. Alright. Now, what size? Oh, maybe I'll do a little... A little thingy. Where you do the... Different... These tweezers suck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that word. They do. They just bite. I have some better ones. I don't know where they are. Did I not put them in the... Well, let's try these ones. Maybe these little paddles will do a better job getting a hold of them. Or maybe not. Goodness. Okay, sorry, this video just went to an hour and 30 minutes because I can't get a flat pack pearl off a plastic sheet. You know what? I try to be so right using my tools and you know what works? My flipping nails. <laughs> so much for that. Tools, smools. Who needs tools? I think I got glue on top of that. Doggone it. Doggone it. Looks more vintage that way, right? <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Try putting the glue on the fabric, see if it works better that way. Of course, it helps if you get it on there. Don't want it quite that close. But it really took... Wow. All right. All right. Moving around. The only thing, I'm going to have to take that off because it's not shiny anymore because I got the fabric cap. Fa <laughs> the what? <laughs> Try that again. <laughs> I got the fabric tack on top of the flat pack and it took the shine right off it. But then the other, okay, don't drop. See what you're trying to do? You're trying to get it on you too takes a shine off it and then I got one shiny one and one not shiny and I'm sorry but I just can't have that okay and then they go to a little bitty baby oh of course you got a big old butter on the end of your doggone glue Ugh. okay See, I haven't bothered painting my nails lately because, well, one, I'm giving them a break. But, two, I know I'm working with fabric tack and that just takes it right off. So, what is the point, right? Maybe I can get that. Ah, don't go upside down. Oh, they. I need to get my little, you know, those little things that are sticky on the end that you can hold on to stuff with. I should get that out. Talk about fiddly. Goodness sake. Did I pick something more fiddly? There. We got it. Maybe not easily, but we got it. Okay, there is that one. Why does it look like it's... Looks like it was going down, but I think it's alright. 
You may be having performance issues, says my computer. Hopefully that didn't cut out. I don't know why it does that every now and then. It'll say I'm having performance issues and there'll be nothing going on at all. It's like, what are you talking about? Performance issues. You're having performance issues. I am doing just fine. <laughs> Well, maybe I'm not doing just fine, but anyway, <laughs> it's not the point. The point is, you're a brand new computer, you're a brand new camera, and I'll work and do your job. You got one job, do it. I'm just putting ink on that paper. I know I'm not putting it where y'all can see it. So like, is there glue coming out or not? Sometimes that light shining on there, it's hard to tell. You know, watch other people glue their stuff down and everything goes so perfectly. The glue comes out beautifully. They put it on there so nicely. Me, I'm like, oh, the glue working? <laughs> the glue has been coming out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Some of us have it. Some of us just pretend <laughs> or do our best. <laughs> Let's see. Do I want to use pink on this one? What do I want to do? I could. This would be different. Don't want them all to look the same, do we? I got this color pink. Do we want to put that on there? Do we want to go bright? Yeah, maybe not. Maybe next time. Maybe next time we'll think about you. We'll think about it and get back to you. I just want to put out here. I said I'll put it out here, not on my finger. Maybe I'll, since I got this big old white space right there, maybe I'll put a little one in between. Sometimes I can tell better looking at my computer monitor using the camera to see if stuff is straight better than I can tell by looking at it. Come on. Come on, this one. Not the teeny tiny one. I want the middle sized one. Okay, that looks like it's a little bit different color, but that's okay. That's alright. It's okay to be different. We will accept you anyway. <laughs> we like different, don't we? Okay. Those away. And there we have that one. Why does that still look like that's not? Look like it's in the right place. Okay, once I hit my little clothespin doll. Okay, so then we just need to make this back this way. Find a little tuck. And put a journaling card up in there. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Okay, where's the little tuck spot? Where, oh, where can it be? My gosh, it's faster to go page by page. Where did it go? There it is. Goodness gracious. Hiding on me. Here we 
go. All right, and that one is done. And that, my friends, is the last one we're going to do on camera. So thank you very much for coming along for the ride. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with these two. I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight that are decorated like this. I think what I'll do, um, I have these um, CD envelopes, and what I might do is some stenciling on the ones that, because um, I only have so many that have Michelle's dying on them. So I think that's Michelle. I think. Anyway, these will be an upcoming project. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to let y'all go. So thank you for coming along. Um, be sure to leave me a comment on the bunny kits if that's something you would be interested in. And I'll think about doing that. And have yourself a wonderful night or day. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. God bless.